What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see here, I have Mr. Graham Stefan on my screen, which isn't typical of me to do, but he is very valuable for the purpose of this video. As you can see recently, he has posted two videos saying he's cashing out of the stock market and the mother of all crashes is coming. Now, if you're not familiar with who this gentleman is, pretty much to say he's one of the most popular faces on YouTube regarding finance. So with that being said, his videos usually reach a massive amount of people. So as you can see, those two videos that he posted regarding his concerns over the stock market and that he believes it might be coming to a correction or a crash soon has reached a mass of basically a million people. So let's move forward to the next tab. You will see we have Mr. Meet Kevin, another very popular finance YouTube channel. He has also shared his concerns regarding the stock market with his title or video being Big red flags, massive coming market crash. Now again, there is also another two people we're gonna share, Ricky Gutierrez and Mr. Zip Trader Charlie have also shared their concerns over the stock market and its current valuation, believing that it is going to crash. So the whole purpose of me showing you guys is these channels is that Whenever this starts to happen, where people start posting videos of the market crashing, generally the YouTube algorithm picks up on it. You're gonna start seeing more videos and topics related to this scenario. And the same thing happens with Facebook and the same thing happens with Instagram. As soon as the market starts to gain any little bit of bearish sign or signal, everybody kind of jumps on to the, it's time that the market's gonna crash, things are gonna pull back. And not that any of them are wrong, but as soon as one person does it, then the next person does it, and the next person does it, the algorithms just automatically pick up on this and they're going to start feeding that to your social media feeds more frequently, which therefore could cause you to think that the market's actually gonna crash, which then could actually cause more selling pressure than there possibly would have been in the first place, which might just accelerate the move more so than if nobody would have said anything in the first place. So nonetheless, we are starting to see a ton of talk surrounding the topic of a market crash. Now I will say, each one of these gentlemen so far are 100% correct on their thinking and or their timing in the release of their video as in fact the market has been high and since they have posted those videos the market has corrected. Now my objective of this video is to go a little bit further and show you guys where the market will most likely continue to sell down to and where the next low risk buying point might be at. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're really just going to be focusing on the NASDAQ. I specifically look at the ETF QQQ whenever I'm talking about the NASDAQ and that's where I'm going to be doing the analysis here for you guys today. So if we zoom in, you will see this green box. This green box, that is the target support for the current sell-off that we are seeing. So when the market started to sell off from a high of $365 on QQQ, the down swinging target has been down to this green box. Now for those of you that wanna know more than just the green box, the green box and or the target selling price for the market is 353.50 and 352.50. So in other words, you have a price zone from $352.50 to $353.50. And these and or these two prices are really where you should be expecting you're gonna see the NASDAQ or the market sell down to over the next week. So if you're someone who has been wanting to get into the market, has been waiting for a dip and a time to buy, this may in fact be your opportunity. But again, before you should even consider putting money into something like QQQ or trying to find out where the bottom is going to be, in this sort of situation, you would typically just wait for the market to correct and or regress back down to its long-term statistical mean, which is that green box. Now, really quickly, I'll show you guys how we went about getting that green box. So if you look at this time frame, it's a 180-day, four-hour time frame. For those of you that invest swing trade and or day trade, these two time frames that I'm going to show you are usually going to be the most important time frames to work off 
to work off of alongside of weekly charts. But in this video, we're specifically gonna look at 180 day, four hour time frame and a one year, one day time frame using Thinkorswim software. And those are generally the two main levels, or sorry, two main time frames that I'll be using to map off most of the levels we look to be trading around. So with that being said, you can see here on the four hour time frame, when we zoom in, we're looking for this white line. We're gonna go find the exact price of this white line, which is actually 352.37. So we're gonna put a line here at 352.37. We will check the one year, one day chart, and you will see that this white line comes in right over the price of the last one, and it comes in at 353.55. And that is how I ended up coming up with that little green box for you guys previously in this video was simply by looking at those two time frames, mapping off their long-term statistical regression level and or mean and projecting that to be our target for the sell-off in the market. And what I'm saying is since that's where the long-term trends at, which means that's really where the long-term supports at, that's probably where the sellers will take this market down. And if the buyers in the market at those prices are strong enough, then we can support the market. If they aren't strong enough to support the market there, then we will continue to see the sell off. So over the next week, ladies and gentlemen, just anticipate that you are going to continue to see prices on the stock market go down, both on the NASDAQ, both on the SPY, and the Dow Jones, and probably the Russell 2000. And I believe we're not gonna really see too much effort to bounce the market on any of those indexes until we at least see the NASDAQ down to prices of again, $353.51 to $352.37. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to the thumbs up video or thumbs up button before you head out. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video. Everybody take care.